Well, Chris and Mary, I want to show you uh, just how run down this area is because it happened right here yesterday. You can see all that peeling paint, the rusted metal. You stand here, it's hard not to worry uh, that something is going to break off and hit you, and that's exactly what happened yesterday. They ran into the uh, my store over here, and they're like, something fell on the car. We got to call the cops. Hamza Saeed described the terrifying moments this piece of metal came loose and smashed through a van's windshield. In the windshield on the right side, it was like completely cracked, broken. They were quite shook. That's what I would say. Yeah, they were like, I, I, how does that, something like that fall? It happened underneath this Woodside 7 train platform on Roosevelt and 61st Street. Saeed says he heard the sound and watched the victims pull up to his store a few dozen feet away. She's like, yeah, something fell and now we're scared. Thank God nothing happened to us. Some Woodside residents and subway riders say the area is so decrepit they'll avoid walking underneath. It's scary. It's, it's dangerous. Anything can happen. Yesterday's incident comes just a few weeks after this. A big wooden beam came loose along the same subway line and crushed this windshield, also narrowly missing someone inside. So residents here have a message for the MTA. Just to be fixed, to see what the problem is and to be fixed. The MTA says it's investigating both incidents, blaming yesterday's metal collapse on a truck that might have hit a beam. But not everyone says that would have gone unnoticed. The truck would have been there for four hours. A group of business owners and residents have even filed a lawsuit against the MTA, forcing it to paint and fix this peeling, crumbling mess before it's too late. And in just about an hour from now, several council members are going to be holding a news conference right at the foot of the steps of City Hall to address what they're calling an emergency situation right here on the 7 line. We're live in Woodside, Queens. Mark Liverman, CBS 2 News. Okay, Mark, thanks.